Okay, you can do that now and then you don't need to exercise tonight. <laughs> gathered here this evening to celebrate this happy occasion and to praise God for his goodness. As Psalm chapter 9 verse 1 says, I will give thanks to the Lord. I will be glad and sing praise to his name. Now shall we all praise the Lord with a song to God be the glory. do thank Samuel and Sabri with their both parents for inviting me to this special occasion. We all know that we are living in days of low moral standards when marriage vows are easily broken in marriage. And it is not the mixed marriage with the adherence of other religions. The third point is the Christian marriage is for procreation of the race and the establishments of home for children where happiness and joy can range. The fourth point is the foundations of the Christian marriage. The first foundation is monogamy. It is the binding together of one Christian man and one Christian woman in the marital relationship. Monogamous marriage is the standard set by Jesus himself. The second foundation is permanency. This implies that the Christian marriage is the binding together of one Christian man and one Christian woman on a permanent basis. It is a lifelong commitment which that alone terminates. The third foundation is fidelity. Emma Brunen, one of the theologians, holds that fidelity is the fundamental basis 
of every true marriage. My darling, at first I thought I could make this witty, make it funny, and something about our shared experience in debate together with lines such as, this house believes we should be married. You had me at point of information. But I think something simpler and something that I've always felt, something that I always feel, might just do the trick. So, Stephanie Yap, Imzadi, Chitu, Ira, I love you. I love the girl who seven years ago took a chance on me and gave me so much joy and laughter for those years. I love the lady who is standing in front of me right now, tall, beautiful, radiant, on the happiest day of my life. And I will love the woman that you will grow to be as we fling our souls together into the unknown and face whatever comes our way. So I promise to you to always protect and support your hopes and dreams because it's through them that your soul shines. And I promise to face every obstacle that we will have together because if we stand together, no obstacle can stand in our way. And I promise to make our love and our home the number one priority, first in my heart, in my head, and in my being, from all the days from this day to the end of days. So, my darling, I tell you, come with me, come grow old with me, because the best is yet to be. Dear Sam, I promise to be your best friend and partner in mischief and not rat you out on April Fool's Day. I promise to be a patient wife and drive slowly to make sure that Patrick reaches 23 kilometers per litre fuel efficiency. I promise to be an honest critic and a worthy adversary and debate with you even when you're playing Candy Crush. I promise to be a responsible parent and love our cats equally. <laughs> even though we all know that whiskey is cuter than tutu. And of course, it applies to our children too. But above all, I promise to be faithful and true in times of plenty and in times of want, in times of sickness and in times of health, in times of joy and in times of sorrow, in times of failure and in times of triumph, to cherish and respect you, to care and protect you, to comfort and encourage you and love you for the rest of my life. <laughs> Stephanie, with this ring, which symbolizes my love, my faithfulness, and my eternal devotion to you, I now declare to one and all that you are my wife to love and to cherish from now and forevermore. With this ring, I be wed. <laughs>